Created in 1894 at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York City, the Rob Roy is a smoky cousin of the Manhattan made from blended scotch and sweet vermouth. A more recent variation includes dry vermouth and pure maple syrup. So let's explore the Rob Roy and the Maple Rob Roy. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV Cocktail Friday. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, we're going to be visiting some classic cocktails and we're going to make two different versions of the same one. Today, we're making the Rob Roy and the Maple Rob Roy. So let's get started. So what is a Rob Roy? A Rob Roy is a version of the Manhattan. It's made with scotch instead of blended whiskey. And it's because of the scotch, it's nice and smoky and smooth. So it's kind of like the Manhattan smoky, sophisticated cousin, if you will. Let's get started on it. I have a glass with some ice in it. I'm going to add two ounces or 60 mils of blended scotch. Use whatever scotch you like. Right in. Next is sweet vermouth. One ounce or 30 mils. Two to one ratio, just like a classic Manhattan. And now a couple dashes of Angostura bitters, which are these. Now normally it would be time for the shaky shaky, but in this case, I'm gonna stir this drink. Alrighty. Now, I have a chilled cocktail glass with ice and water, or you can keep it in your freezer, but this is how you can chill them if you don't have room in your freezer for your cocktail glasses. I'm going to start with the cherry, put that in first, and now we're gonna strain. And because I stirred this, I don't have to double strain, so I don't have any little bits of ice. How glorious is that? Let's have a little taste. Mmm, that's wonderful. Very smooth, like a good Manhattan, and nice and smoky from that scotch. It's a very nice cocktail. That's a classic Rob Roy. Up next is the Maple Rob Roy. And now it's time to make the Maple Rob Roy. Now you may think Maple Rob Roy, just add maple syrup to a regular Rob Roy. It's a little more than that. That would be good, but this is even better. We're gonna start again with two ounces of scotch that will go right in my glass of ice. And two. Two ounces is 60 mils. Right in. Next is sweet vermouth, but only half an ounce or 15 mils. Just that much. Dry vermouth is next. Again, 15 ounces, sorry, 15 mils, which is half an ounce. 15 ounces indeed, good grief. Half an ounce, there we go. That's going to cut some of the sweetness and make it a little more complex. Next is the maple syrup. Now, I'm using pure maple syrup. I recommend that's what you use. Don't try the other brands that are pancake syrup. Use real maple syrup for this. It makes all the difference. And again, half an ounce or 15 mils. Right in. And finally, some bitters. I'm gonna do three good shakes this time, a little more than what we put in the Rob Roy Classic because that maple syrup is kind of sweet. Now we're gonna give this a good stir. All 
All righty. Chill cocktail glass. And a cherry. Right in. So we're going to strain this into our glass. And I stirred this instead of shaking, so I don't have to double strain because there's no little ice crystals. Right in. How pretty. Let's have a little taste. Mmm. That is quite good. This is far more complex than the classic Rob Roy. The dry vermouth, you don't really taste it, but it's toning it down. You get that smoke from the scotch. And then the maple flavor is kind of in the background with a very subtle sweetness. And it's not overpowering thanks to the dry vermouth and the bitters. So you get all these flavors. It's very, very smooth and sophisticated. We like that here. We'll see you again on Tuesdays for our regular episodes, Fridays for Cocktail Fridays. We'll see you on Sunday for our live streams. Now, while I go and enjoy my cocktail, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. Till next time. Cheers. <laughs>